Discovery Podcast. Hello and welcome to the debut episode of the CD Baby Metal Discovery Podcast. My name is Brad. I am one of the editors here at CD Baby and I am joined by Bill, who is one of the, what do you call yourself? A customer service person, I guess. All right. Bill and I have been talking about doing a podcast like this for a month or two now and we are finally getting around to getting it recorded. We feel like we've picked out some good songs that we wanted to play and uh, I guess at first I just kind of wanted to talk about what got us started talking about doing this in the first place? I mean, really, honestly, I think it was knowing, you know, from my personal experience, uh, talking to a lot of artists and you, seeing a lot of artists come through as you're, you know, checking things out. I, I think a lot of it was like, hey, there's a lot of really good metal that comes through CD Baby. And, well, not a lot of people are finding it because, you know, we, we have a lot of focus on, a, a, I don't know, a vast majority of uh, genres. And so metal can get buried a little bit. So I wanted to talk to you about maybe doing something where we get the metal that people will love out to them. And I think we both kind of thought like metal may not be one of the bigger genres on CD Baby, but we both kind of felt like the quality of the music that does come through here and the variety, like from where it's coming from, all over the world, all that stuff was really high and we had heard so much good stuff and we felt like it just wasn't getting the exposure that it needed. So we thought we'd try and put some songs together and uh, get them out there for people to listen to for free. Yeah. Um, as far as what we're going to play on the podcast, you know, we've only gotten as far as this first episode. Uh, but we kind of decided, like, we don't want to limit ourselves to playing a certain subgenre of metal. Yeah. Like, if it's good, we'll play. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, so that's if you got thrash metal, black metal, uh, uh, stoner rock, whatever. You, you throw some heavy stuff at us, or, or you know, just some stuff that you love. We'll check it out. Uh, this is just a really good opportunity for artists that normally wouldn't get a ton of exposure, or that maybe do, just not here in your country or in our country. It's an opportunity for them to get out there and, and for you to check out some music that you might have not uh, come across yet. And if you're not familiar with CD Baby, uh, we sell music from all over the world and we ship music to all over the world and we have downloads on our site. Um, we put bands on iTunes and uh, we'll have links in the podcast that you can uh, check out these bands, listen to more sample tracks from them and buy their music if you're interested in it. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, the first song that we're going to play is from Mark Rizzo, who... Uh, Bill, go ahead and talk about how you got into him. Yeah, Mark Rizzo, you know, really for me, uh, I've always been a fan of Sepultura growing up. A lot of the uh, the bands that came out of Sepultura, like Nail Bomb and such, was never the biggest Soulfly fan, but got into Mark Rizzo from, from Soulfly, from hearing a record that he was on, got interested. He's currently playing with Cavalera Conspiracy, which is uh, Igor and uh, Max from Sepultura, uh, working together again. They've got Mark on guitar. The dude is an incredible shredder. I saw him playing riffs that honestly would take the average guitar player months to come up with while he was jumping around the stage so fast you could barely keep up with him. <laughs> uh, you know, currently he's doing uh, Cavalier Conspiracy. Uh, he was also the, uh, the founding member of a band called Il Nino that some of you might remember from the uh, kind of like late 90s, early 2000s uh, new metal phase. Uh, the dude is an incredible guitar player. This song, Wrath of Kron, is awesome. Anything that is a nod or an homage to Conan is good in my book. So I uh, just wanted you guys to check this out. I know Brad's heard it, thinks it's a rad a track too. So uh, hopefully you guys like it and uh, let us know your feedback if you do. One more thing, what were you saying was that new project that he's... Oh, yes. His new death metal project is called Encyclopedia. Or Bleedia, man, see, I can't even say it. <laughs> Encyclopedia. So yeah, it's, I haven't heard it yet. I just read about it. I saw that name and thought, well, there's my next tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I love that name. Okay, so here is Mark Rizzo with Wrath of Crown.
All right, that was Mark Rizzo with Wrath of Crom. Like I said, there'll be uh, links in the uh, podcast where you can click and check out that album. Uh, the name of that record is Legionnaire, right? Yeah, it is called Legionnaire, Rizzo's album. Um, the next band we're going to hear is Overdrive, and they are from Sweden. Sweden. Yeah, and they've been around since 1980. Uh, the original lineup uh, kind of broke up, got back together a few times. They broke up initially, I think, in like 80-something, got back together in 94, broke up again, and the, uh, uh, the original lineup, uh, you know, kind of went their separate ways, but one of the, or two of the guys from the band, and, I, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not a great enough historian to tell you which ones, kept the band going a little bit, and then finally called it quits until 2003, where the, the original lineup got back, started doing what they're doing. Uh, this album that they've got out right now called Angel Maker is awesome. If you like power metal, if you like stuff that shreds and just is awesome sounding, you will definitely dig this record. Uh, Sweden is a very diverse metal country, although we know our, a lot of metalheads are familiar with like the Gothenburg sound, the kind of arch enemy thing. You can definitely see where bands like Arch Enemy get their sound from when you hear a band like Overdrive. Uh, this track is a totally, totally awesome track called Under the Influence. Once again, the album's Angel Maker, Overdrive, totally awesome band. Check it out. Facebook日給 ですが隊長、今一つのビデをアップしただけで、YouTube で67万円の収益を稼ぎ出しています。会場のボーナスを超えています。なわけあるかこの YouTubeのメリット 1、このハレンチな動画を作って放置をしていたところ、とんでもない事態が。中学生の俺に勧めるなよ。僕なんか小学生なのにあなたへのお勧めって出てきたぞ。なんと広くあまねくユーザーにルフ。そしてその結果、全期
そして YouTube で稼ぐ方法はこちらから無料で配られているとの報告をいただいています月額36万円レポートある方式に従って YouTube に動画を投稿してください顔出しなしビデオ機材不要編集スキルなしで1日数万のトラフィックを集め最終的には月額36万円の不労所得収入を手に入れさせてみせますそして私が YouTube アクセスから1000万以上のお金を稼いだ戦略を記したレポートをプレゼントします今すぐにレポートを脱出じゃ